Hello again, and welcome to another episode of World of Darkness Character Creation. Um, first off, I do apologize about this one also being in paint, the same as previous. I do have a program that runs all of the Supernatural, but Innocence and Human, for some reason, do not run on it. I'm not exactly sure why. That problem will be being fixed, or won't be being fixed, but since I will be doing this on paint, everyone from now on should be using that new program and will thus mitigate all of this hassle that we're having to go through with the current system. So first off, I do apologize about that. Now, moving on. We're again doing World of Darkness. This time we are doing Innocence. Innocence is used to describe any character between the ages of 7 and 12. Uh, teenagers do count within innocence, but they do have a separate line. Um, they do have separate stats and things, but technically they are considered an innocence expansion to the normal set. Um, you can make a character that is under the age of seven, um, but I'm trying to believe or think how to say this, um, they don't actually have any diagrams or anything on how to create a character younger than six. There are a few characters that do exist that you can look up, and there are homebrew systems for it. So if you do wish to be under the age of six, then you can figure out how to do it. Now, first off, let me make sure I get my typing system. Last time we made a boy, so this time we're going to make a girl. We're going to name her Alice. Uh, we're going to skip the player in the Chronicle. Um, of course, the player is who you are, and the Chronicle is the can name of the campaign. For concept, um, we're going to call her the... Huh, what would you want to be as a kid? I guess a jock. We're going to call her a jock. So concepts of jock. Let's move that over so it's not in that darkness. Um, assets. Um, assets and faults work very similar to the concepts and demeanors of previous. Um, assets are good things. Faults are bad things. So asphalt. Uh, asphalt. That's a bad word. Um, assets. Let's go with brave. For the faults, let's go ahead and go with clumsy. No, not clumsy. She's a jock. Um, stubborn. Uh, for age, let's go ahead and make her a ten-year-old. That's about center between seven and twelve. Um, clicking group, pretty much how they sound. What click you're in, what group you're in. Not really all that important. Those are more of social things, and for those are great for role playing. Not so much for your character creation. Uh, your storyteller will will probably tell you what to put there, or he will give you a couple of options to pick between. Okay, let's move over to this tool real quick. Now, as you scroll down, look. Attributes are 5, 4, and 3, the same with everything else. Now she's a jock and she's brave. So let's go ahead and give her some strength. So 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, let's, let's, let, let's let her stamina lack a little bit. And let's give her some extra dexterity. She's not going to be able to take as much of a punch, but maybe she'll be able to kind of dodge it a little better. Um, let's see, she's a jock, and she's stubborn, so she's probably not all that smart. Um, so we're going to put our four. Let's see here. Jocks are normally popular, so they have a presence. Uh, a little bit of manipulation. And let's give her some good composure. Now, for intelligence. She's stubborn, so she she's probably decently smart, but she probably has a lot of resolve. And probably some wit. Would she have wit? Hmm. She probably talks back, so jocks talk back a lot, so she might have some wit. Probably not a lot of intelligence. Not trying to insult anybody here, it's just probably not. Okay, let's move over to the pencil tool real quick while we do this. As you can see here, the skills, the amount of dots you would receive in your skills varies because of your age. 
So let's see here. Um, age 10 will have eight primaries. So she's physical, so let's give her some primaries. So, ah, why is my pencil so thin? Okay, she's good. she's a jock. She has to be athletic. So she got three points in athleticism. She has five more to spin. Um, I'm gonna say she probably throws a punch pretty well. Um, she's probably pretty good at survival too. Maybe she's a girl scout. Let's see here. That's seven points. We need one more. Well, if she's a Girl Scout, she probably isn't into larceny. But she might be. Let's go ahead and give her some stealth. She does have a decent dexterity. So if she wants to be sneaky, she can be sneaky. Now, her next one, her next was social. So let's go ahead and change that up a bit. Let's give her some mental skills. Now, Secondary for a 10 year old is 5. So she has 5 skills here. She's not she's not that smart, so she's probably not good at studying a cult. Um, if, she is a girl, if she is a Girl Scout, she probably has at least a basic first aid. Actually, I'd say basic first aid probably be 2. So we have 3 more dots to spend. Um, I'm going to go as far as to say she probably has some basic crafting as well. Uh, maybe some primary politics. She is part of the pecking order for the school. And for tertiary for a 10 year old would be three points. I'm going to say Hmm, I'm actually going to put all of those into Intimidation. Now, this isn't trying to be judgmental. This is just her being young. These skills will get put out a little more later on. Um, let's see here. Just double checking. Okay. Now, Innocence does introduce a new type of thing called specialties. Um, I actually don't see where you'd put it down. Uh, specialties are a, a I'm trying to think of how to say this. Specialties are a higher form of skills. So, for example, um, crafts. Let's say she has a specialty in. knots. Let's say, like, crafts, you'd probably, like, let's say she has a specialty in knots. So, whenever she's making something that requires tying knots, she'd get an extra dice roll on it. Uh, but, at the same time, if she's going to make something that didn't involve tying knots, she wouldn't get that extra dice roll. Um, I don't usually use specialty systems because it's one of those things that was added in a later book but doesn't actually translate very well down the generations. That and it's just kind of a little less fun because hey, I'm specialized in bugs and we never see a bug during the entire damn campaign. Whoop de doo. Yeah. Anyway, let's move over to merits. Uh merits are very similar to the adult version. Um they're just things. So let's say Let's give you a let's give her a pet and a mentor. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um ah, bad. Now if you look down here, merits seven points. So we're gonna put three points in pet. This means she probably has like some big vicious dog pet that she can trust, like a Rottweiler or something. I don't know. Uh, mentor, we're going to put the remaining four dots in it just because we don't want to, like, just because we're just going to uh, finish her off. So, four points. She probably has a very charismatic. So, 
her coach was probably like a job. Like she probably has a coach or something, or a Girl Scout troop leader who's like really big and important in her life. Um, let's see here. Now for flaws. Um, We already established that she's stubborn as one of her faults, so... Let's make a flaw... ADD. Grr. What I... Oh. Bad game. Or bad program. Okay, so she now has ADD. Attention Deficit Disorder. So now, whenever she tries to pay attention to study or something like that, she can get a minus roll because she has ADD. That makes perfect sense, right? Now, let's go ahead and do Health. Health would be her Stamina, which is 2, plus her Size. Size is four for a child. So let's go ahead and put that in. So that gives her six health. Willpower is resolve plus composure. Composure is three. Resolve is three. That gives her six willpower. Morality for a human starts at 7. Now, speed. Strength plus dexterity, so that's 6 plus 4. So her speed is 10. Initiative mod is dexterity plus composure, so that is 6. I should probably be typing that out. Um, defense is the lowest of dexterity or wit, which will be two. Let's see, are we missing anything else? No, nah, we're good. Uh, let's go ahead and give her a weapon. So, let's give her a base baseball bat. Now, we're going to use the stats for a, cl a baton for an adult. Um, I'm going to say that the bil a, a billy club that a cop would ha carry is roughly about the same size as a child's baseball bat. If you ever go to Walmart and you pick up the small baseball bats, I'm going to say that a, a, like, a club or a baton that a cop would wear or use probably about the same size, give or take. So I'm going to say it's probably about the same thing. So, strength plus one. Uh, for ease's sake, we're going to say that's a bashing weapon, and it has a concealment of J. Uh, bashing is a form of damage. The other two forms of damage are lethal and aggravated. Um, and J means it can only be concealed in a jacket or better. So you're not like hiding this thing under your shirt. Let's see. For equipment, let's say... Hmm. That would be a good equipment. I have an idea. Let's go for sports gear. So, hmm. Now for sports gear, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a armor. So, as an armor rating, I'm going to give it two or plus two, minus one. The reason I'm giving it minus one is because it's heavy, so it will slow her down. So every dexterity roll and or speed roll, she'll get minus one to. It's not really a big deal, but it does, it can add up a full set of, for example, a full set of riot gear has a movement penalty of three. So it slows her down by three points. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead. So for armor, you have which she has two armor. 
Now, with experience, we can go ahead and go through and add more points. Um, more points can be purchased or it, during this phase, but I'm not going to go through that part because it can take a little while. Um, one big thing is the attribute scale for a child is slightly different. Um, of course, everything is re in relation, so she's above average in strength for a 10-year-old. So, for example, her strength, as strong as she is, she's probably only lifting something about 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, normally for a child that first starts 12, 25, 55, 100, and then 160. Um, for a child getting the fifth dot, normally you're like so good at something that you're, you're to the point that people are teasing you about it. So if you, if you were had five dots in strength, you'd probably be called like a muscle head or something. Um, they kids would be making fun of you and insulting you because you have no brains. It's all bronze. Blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, there are some downsides to it in the role playing aspects. And a kid with three strength is not going to outpower an adult with two strength. It's not going to happen. Uh, with one strength maybe, but that'd kind of be a flip a coin type situation. Um, anyway, um, I don't use Innocence very much, so I please do forgive me about any mistakes I've made. I This is done to the best of my ability. Um, I might have flubbed up a couple of places, but I don't believe I did. Um, I don't usually use Innocence. Um, RPing Innocence can, is interesting, but there's only so much you can do. Uh, whenever you are role-playing, anybody who role-plays Dungeons & Dragons or World of Darkness, normally you want to be a hero. And you can be a hero, but it's a lot easier to be a hero when you're a vampire who could lift a truck with his with one hand and then throw it at somebody, comparing to being a little kid who gets eaten by a dog. Um... Also, using Innocence in campaigns, I usually try to avoid because I've run into three types of people. There are the type of people who will never hurt a kid, ever, for any reason. So, oh my god, you just got shot in the face with a little kid. But, but it's a little kid. How could a little kid shoot me? And it's like, okay, well, you're still alive. You're a vampire. Do you attack the little kid? And be like, no, it's a little kid. Be like, yeah, yeah, that little kid just took your head off with a shotgun. Um, go roll another character. Or that you have the, this little, you see a little kid, and he's carrying what looks like a shotgun. Oh, he, you just snapped that little kid's neck? Um, yeah, it was a Nerf gun. You didn't find out, you didn't look, you just snapped his neck. I might be a little bit uncomfortable sitting next to you now. Uh, then there's a third type, which do kind of... They role-play it, but they're very rare to come across. Um, so I usually try to keep Innocence out of my campaigns. Um, so anyway, as I said before, when I move on to the vampires and the werewolves and other supernaturals, I'm going to be using a different system for uh, capturing, or not capturing, but for placing things, so I'm not having to use this in paint. Um, I do apologize for having to do the first two in paint, but because of humans sucking, they're not actually digital digitized for, as often for some reason. And I couldn't find a very, let's just say well-versed digitized copy. Anywho, um, I'm going to go ahead and say adieu, and... I hope you have a wonderful day slaying monsters or becoming one.